Sorry guys, I don't know what the bloody hell happened. Yeah, right, fine. so, uh, holy, uh, so, God, Cheryl, we will do, uh, we, are you doing the same as what I said? Yeah, or? basically. Um, yeah. yeah. Don't do that to the elbow. No, I won't do that to the elbow. But do you, how, how short do you go, like, under the elbow? Um, or you do the same, like, how I did it? Do you want, so that it matches, do you want me to, to bugger it up? Yeah, 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 of course, we have to do that. Well, can you do it without buggering it up first, and then bugger it up again? Yeah, yeah. Right, so obviously, I'm, I don't run my clipper as fast across the job as Posty. I give the clipper time to work through the dog's body and hopefully get it right first time round. In my skirt, I'm going to scoop the same as Posty, scoop that down under the elbow. Very lightly, very lightly. So as you're popping the clipper in, you're also bringing it out at the same time. You're not going to run it straight under the dog's body. You see, I do that straight down under the body. Do you? Because you say what I did, because I found it that you don't have to blend it a lot. Yeah, I suppose you're right, but yeah, it's just habit. Yeah, you see? Down, down, down. Leave it natural to go down. I never go down, I never go too much in here. Yeah. I know, sorry Lydia. Okay, so we're going to run it off the shoulder. As you can see here, the clip is coming in and then I'm going to flick it out. Coming in, I'm going to flick it out. 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 Flick it you just stop in your clipper line about there, which is two fingers. Stop. Something I love, like the more experience you get, you, you do that. You did that without even measuring it first. Yeah, you just that. know. Right? Yeah, you know. So this is my problem. You teach, so you're used to sort of explaining as you go along. I don't teach. I go into the zone. Right, so... I'm going to bring this head slightly back a bit because the occupant is there, so I'm just going to come from just behind that. Now my eyebrow, as you can see, is going to start where the white is. Flip the dog's ear back. You reverse this. I reverse, yeah. Found it easier. This dog is a leaner. Thank you, Holly. At least you do something finally. <laughs> That's quite enjoying just sitting there watching you. So you see, from from the from the uh, from the uh, chest bone up, reverse. Yep. Now I'm gonna that line there where it changes direction. I'm gonna go with the coat growth down. Work the blade so that you can obviously catch any hairs that have missed out. So by working it, I mean going a couple of different directions with, against, with, against. And that will just catch any stray hairs that are coming down there and sticking out. I can't see from the front here. You're blind. Yeah, flipping blind. See, I've scooped out too much there, as you can't see. Okay, so I've removed all of the grey hair there. The rest of that, all of this, we're doing with thinning scissors. Good girl, Mishka. Good girl, good girl. Good girl. Kushka. Mishka. Mishka. It's another dog, Mishka. Yeah. Good girl. Right, so do you go uh, into the leg or not? Or what do you do, like, the front, the chest? Can you put it properly to sit properly, Holly? I would, I, I personally will use my blenders to just bring this in. Why? Because I just do. Yeah, but it's not that easy. It. Yeah, it's easier. Okay. Try it. Try it. You might like, I, I don't know, I just like to use my scissors and thinners. Yeah, but if you so finish I'm faster. Give him a bit of a chest. Yeah, I'll give him the chest. You can see by taking all this hair from, from here. 
you can you create the chest, yeah? So this is what you want to do on a schnauzer, yeah? You want to have a little bit of chest, but we will make it rounder, yeah? Yeah, so you could have combed this out. Yeah, if uh, five, six years ago, I used to take all of this down right to under the, under the, under the belly, under the, what, the legs, yeah? Yeah, it shouldn't come right out, it should just, it's padded, yeah, it's, it's so padded. It should just ha hang nice. Yeah, it's padded. Yeah? Yeah. So you finish your clippers? I'm finishing my clipper work. Oh, God, let me She's just so it my... slow, like really, I don't know. You know, people that are so ancient heavy. like her. No, I'm not slow, actually. I've done that just as quick as you, only I haven't used my hand a million times over the dog's body. And my, my finish is probably neater than your... Yes. My your finish is neater than mine. This is what Much happens neater. when you get a run full of... Mine is neater. Yeah, except the bed is down. Psh, psh, psh. Slowly, slowly... Yeah, move, move. I don't want to see in the mirror. How you about your to, side? Look at this. So her side is way worse than mine. Yeah, this my sign is way guys, better. Guys, this is what happens when you get two competitive groomers in the same room. Mine is the better side. No. 100%. And also the back end, in mine looks much better. Yeah, guys. I, I haven't done the back end yet. Anyway, <laughs> let's start scissoring, yeah? With, again, foot, the schnauzer, they up on the toes, so you need to lift the hair as big as possible. Right. Long, Those yeah? first two toes. So, so yeah, to expose the first two you. toes, basically, yeah? How they almost have a cat-like foot. Yeah. So again, where are my scissors? I don't know, I'll do a back where you do a front, and then we do vice versa, and we compare. Oh my god, it's gonna get messy in here, people. <laughs> <laughs> so exactly how I did with the with the um, with the Shih Tzu, I take all of this to expose the pad. But again, when you do. When you do a, uh, uh, um, a schnauzer, you need to expose the first two... First two toes. Toes. So the middle two toes, it means. I'm going around the ear levers here. And because we've done the insides with a 40, you get a much nicer, cleaner finish. Yeah. I like to use a, uh, a thinner scissor. Yeah, well, I've got a bit of a problem with mine. Because, you know, it takes more and gives you more when sharp... You, when you say thinner scissors... Like, uh, it's with the finer, blade. The, finer, the blade is much finer. Her, her I would is... ordinarily use these, but because I dropped them the other day, they're not the greatest. When you do the ears also, it's very important to... F with these two feel fingers... The yeah, I feel the ear leather, yeah? So pinch I know... It, pinch it between your ears. Yeah. So I know... It, actually, my blade stops between my fingers now. It's very important also when you have a dog that moves, yeah? So you'll never cut the ear lever, just the hair that is between your... Because you're squishing that ear lever in between your thumb and your forefinger. Why? Oh, are you asking... Sorry, Lydia's asking, why would you need to expose those two? I'm guessing she means the nails. Because you lift the hair and the dog should look like they're on the high heels. Yeah. Also, I saw, when I saw a, the seminar about exposing nails, it was on a schnauzer, and they were talking about like the terriers, and obviously schnauzer grooms on like based on terriers and uh, because they are terriers they're earth, earth yeah so it's to show the strength in their foot show those nice strong nail bits yeah. so they can yeah. dig out the soil and blah yeah and the more hair it has it's basically the the soil stuck into the hair you know so that's and how you it have shows substance with a dog doesn't it it's stood there nice chunky feet like i said earlier it is, it, it is a nice cobby stocky dog mm -hmm. right so um, if you're not comfortable with your straight or your curls, you can use some chunkers, yeah? Um, I actually prefer, sometimes I use, I prefer to use thinners, to be honest, on a, not the uh, curved one. I was gonna say. <laughs> uh, yeah, I prefer to use some thinners because this is like a seven and a half inch then, thinners. Uh, oh, I was gonna say, would they we not class them more as blenders? Is it blenders? I get really confused with this, with all the years I've been grooming. Look at I've this. Heard there's this new one. There is a way this. that you can find out. Now, apparently, thinners, most people say, well, thinners have two sides. Well, not all thinners have two sides. But it's the, the in, in the teeth is a little cut-out groove. No. You see, now, these are blenders, and they are... Um, they're, they're wide, are they? So these are blenders, and they don't have that little tooth cut. They don't what have tooth? a cut-out in the tooth. See on these... In the middle of it. Yeah, in the middle... They have a little ridge ah, cut out. Ah, okay. 
Have you oh, so that right. So, so I don't know. Fish tail. You have a, a, a right. A so in the middle tail. of this yeah, scissor, oh, I can't really. I don't think we can see, guys. If you look at your thinning yeah. scissor, it has a cut right into the middle of so it, it's each. Like a fin. Like a fin. No, that's so that has a tooth. In the middle of the. In tooth. the middle of the tooth is like a cut out ridge. Yeah, that is thinner scissors. Now these are a blender. The blender like fish fin. It's more like a fish. Oh God. More like a fish. So I don't it know. goes at a bit of an angle. Yeah. Going a bit so in the angle. A blender, and then you have a chunker. And then you have the chunker. That chunker is like normal. And yeah. have you heard this new thing, fluffers? Fluffers. Chris yeah, I heard pair. someone. What the blender? So does. Chris bought a pair of fluffers the other day. She just advertised himself because she didn't get on with them. Yeah. But apparently, people were raving about oh, them. Oh. So are they new? The yeah. new fluffers. But they look just like the blender, Blenders. but I think yeah. they're finer. They're meant to be a mix between the two. I just think. Like yeah. That. Right. So then you can use your. Scissor spray. And is that anti-static? Yeah. It's anti-static also. Yeah. <laughs> and you leave the hair. <laughs> so you want actually they should actually should be a straight line in the, in the front. Yeah. Elizabeth says, "Oh my God, thank you so much for explaining." Ah, yeah. Well, see, twenty-three years in, and I'm still learning. I am so confused by blenders and chunkers and thinners and God knows what oh. else they want to call them. Have you both sprayed? Yeah. Is it yours I can smell? No, mine. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, I mine. have to say, it's mine. that is absolutely fabulous. So yeah, nice. give me this. Yeah, give me that, oh. bitch. Yeah, give me that. Let me see how to but smell. But not as good as wow. Uh, <laughs> I love that. that it smells so good. Mm. It smells like medicine. My clients ask me to spray their dogs. I spray this on all dogs before they leave, like short haired dogs. But you just, the smell lasts so long. Oh, right, so when I see the spray, uh, the leg, I brush everything out and I was straight. A straight line, yeah? So that's why I'm using my thin scissors. You can use a curve and I go straight down a straight line. The same in the front. And what are you using? Thinners? Thinners, yeah. Well, if they're thinners, I don't know what the bloody hell they are now, actually. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, blenders. Have a look. I'm using because straights. They're thinners. They're thinners, yeah. Uh, right. So I want... Also, on the elbow, I don't want... Can I... You're not here. taking massive amounts off of this dog. No, you? because it doesn't have lots of hair. So on the back, on the back of the leg, yeah, you should not have a massive elbow sticking out. Oh, I want to make this. Oh, sorry. God, you're oh, so pushka, annoying. Pushka, poor baby. Push and pull. So it's actually from from the from basically where you find where it's the middle of the dog, and then that line go down. Just yeah, and the wet wings. Yes. So go straight down. And then they actually uh, like a baseball bat, yeah? So you need to create that roundness on the back. But I didn't start my bloody foot, I didn't do my. Uh, you didn't do your foundations, did I you? I did the foundation, yeah, because all of you, your bloody thinners and thickers. Thickers, you are thick. your You're tools. a thicker. <laughs> Oh, these, these are nice. Yeah. Do you like them? I don't know, I haven't used them. They dropped on the floor. So guys, what I do, you see where the pads starts? It's actually, again, a finger, uh, a, a blade wide. So this is how high I take the hair. You're, where you create the wall. Where, yes. And that's going right the way round the outside of the foot. So when you look now, you can see how the foot is lifted up. You're going to clear either side of those nails, aren't you? Yeah. What do you use to get those? Because I do really struggle with that part of the feet. Just straights. You just just straight. yeah, oh, like the curves, because like Chris said, they're finer, so they're thinner. So I would just go up, clear either side of the toe with them. It's an area I really I hate doing the yeah. toes. Good girl. Hey, all right, darling. And I go down a little bit straight, and a little bit straight in front of the face. There's nothing straight about you, darling. Oh, <laughs> What's her name? Bush Mishka. Kushka. 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 Come on, good girl. She's like, I don't want to stand up anymore. That's much tighter than I would have ever taken the foot. I must say. Yeah, I really like a tight foot on the on the, yeah, and then I go straight down. 
So here, outside is shorter than the inside, yeah? So always do shorter the outside. You don't want the dog to appear too wide in the chest. So if you took all of this hair out from the inside, the dog looks really... Open wide. Yeah, like and we we'll stick it out, out, yeah, exactly. We we'll stick it out over. So you want to keep all of that hair on the inside so that the dog doesn't appear like it's really, really wide chested when it's put its legs together. See, now I struggle because I took all this hair here. So now I'm trying to take this as short as possible. But if I had the bridge, it was much easier. So now I'm taking the, the corners of the chest. And then I go, if I have a curved chunk uh, scissor, you see, follow the shape of my scissor and go right into the square. I love watching you use curved chunkers and thinners because you, you reverse them and everything. Yeah, flip them around. I always like the ones that have two finger rests. I couldn't use, um, see like these, where they only have the one, mind you, he's lost one. But yeah, like that, I couldn't. Good. Uh, yeah. So the uh, when you go under, it should be the same length, uh, the same length that you have in the in the back of the skirt. So what you do, you lift the le front leg, and then from the back, you come into the skirt. But you have to be very careful not mm -hmm. to take yeah. this too short. Otherwise, yes. you take the hair away from the back of the elbow. Yeah, because lifting the leg actually yes. lifts the side a little bit, doesn't it? And that's a real common. Problem: If you take all of that hair away from under the armpit, you lose your depth of chest in the skirt area. What would you do? Because with a lot of dogs, I use the ten blade in the underarm because obviously they can get knots in yep. there. And so it's a straight line, answer? straight line, straight line, I, and then you have long in the inside. I would try not to, if possible, shave the armpits out. But if you have to, you have to. But then obviously you just got to try and get in there. And just take a minimal, and then if you end up taking out some of that skirt, you should get thinners to blend it in. Okay. Right, so I will leave a little bit, if she, a little bit more here, just a little bit, but not way too high, not too long, yeah. So you brush. So when you look from the dirt, you should a straight line, but then also inside is much thicker. How do you deal with the inside legs? That's what I and inside, actually, I don't take a lot. I'm just tidying the inside. But see, I see you do that. And I try and do the inside leg with the, the scissors pointed towards the, the back legs. I, I end up flattening the hair behind me. What? Say again? So I'm going to do a front leg now after Holly, obviously. Go on, Holly. That's all right. So when you so you pull you comb the hair out here, yeah. And then when you just scissor, then you're using the scissors this way. Yeah. Whereas I find that actually ends up flattening the hair out the way. How do you deal with that? You can use some scissor spray. And look, look, we'll hold the hair. See. And also the thing is also you don't press into the into the coat. Mm. You know. You go softly. So the problem why you get, you you flatten because you press into the coat. You do like this instead to do this, you see? You see how my scissor is? You do like this maybe, and that's the problem. Okay. You go into the coat. It's the one thing I really struggle with tube legs, is that inside. So you leg. see here, follow the shape mm -hmm. into the, into the, uh, um, what's it called? Shoulder. Shoulder, and then it's straight down. I hope others struggle with that and it's not just... Tube legs are hard. Tube legs, they're, legs. Hard. they're really hard. I hate tube legs. Really hate tube legs. I prefer to do the back leg than the tube legs. You're so good at... Yeah. What? You're so good at tube legs. Cheryl is so good in... Oh, I'm sure. Sorry, I have... Cheryl, Cheryl. Oh, what you are with the, she's the, the, bloody the brilliant. Like, I struggle with my tube legs. Right, what, what I am going to do is, when Costi's put this foot down, is lift my foot and I'm only going to trim from... Right, let me go to your side. Bye, guys. Just Let me show you. Now. So I'm only going to take from this side. Then I'm going to take from this side. And then I'm going to come round my front. Put the dog's foot back down. Come here, darling.
then obviously we know that we want to expose those two toenails here. And if you notice, I didn't take anything from the back of this. Yeah, this is what uh, Hannah does. Yeah, so I will, st I will do that with the foot down and in place. Yeah, I... Because you can easily make the dog look a little bit too much on a toe, like a bedlinton, by taking that back out too much. This dog doesn't have the thickest of coats. It's all right, darling. But by removing all of this hair just under those two front toes, lifts the foot. Come here. You're a wally, aren't you? Come here. Can we to hold her? Oh, sorry. So I'm just now just going to try and pinch a little bit more of this hair either side of the nail. And just lift that up again. So I'm just going to take that out. So I'll try and do a tubular leg on this so that you guys can get an idea. So, we'll have to even these up afterwards so that the dog goes out matching. But so, so far I've not touched the back of this Hair here. I saw that Hannah used to do that with a spaniel. Yeah, so you can now I'll cut it with the foot down because I will then know how much of it I need to take out. So I'm going to take a little. And again, like you, I'm going to follow that wall all the way around. Yeah, so they should be a little bit like, like, a, like a baseball bat. If you look at a baseball bat, they should be like rounded on the back of the leg. A schnauzer you're talking about? Yeah, the schnauzer, yeah. Again. So a little bit more of a beveled foot, I suppose. Yeah, I got pet grooming is different. You can do whatever you want, actually. No. The groomer, the owner doesn't know if, no, you, they don't know if you fucked up their leg or not, you know? Exactly. So. And that, like, you, you, we could probably send this dog out with that not matching that. And oh, they, yeah. They, they don't, don't know. know. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, so now I'm going to use straight, so I'm just going to, uh, again, straight down. Let's use straight scissors. <laughs> so that when I look from this dog from the front, it should. Should be a straight line. Mm -hmm. You can see, guys, already really straight. And I'm only taking minimal amount off there because the dog, although it's probably groomed five weeks ago, it's got a really fine coat. It obviously doesn't grow coat in abundance. So then I'm going to come down at the back, quickly flick it all out this way, move your skirt line out the way. Now you can either come down like this, or I prefer to just go down in one line there. So they shouldn't have massive elbow sticking out, yeah? Mm -hmm. So you shouldn't have a lot of hair here, guys, yeah? Yep. But again, it should be more longer inside than the outside. Oh. Yep. Let me just see what you've done with yours. Okay, so I'm just gonna lightly lift the front and go down again. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna touch this hair here at the moment. Because I just want to try and give them a more of a tubular because I don't know whether or not we've got any other dogs that you're gonna get that tube no, on. I don't. So I'm just trying to show them how to get a, more of a tube leg. So normally what I do when I have a tube leg, I do like square. I do everything in a square. So front, 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 line, line, and I'll take so the corners curve it, yeah. and curve it, and it works always works. It's harder when you have the inside of the leg, but it does work. You think square and then you cut the corners. See now, Costa used, uh, you use thinners or blenders on yours, didn't yeah. you? And I've used straights. Yours is a much more natural finish. Yeah, hers is more uh, harsh. Uh, yeah, it's sharper. definitely more sharp. More sharper, yeah. Yeah. But this dog But I didn't finish the legs anyway. 
Well, this dog has a very fine coat, so this is the it's thing. personal preference then as to what you use. Can you do it also the chest? Yes, yes, yes. So you see, we do the so chest I'm also. Comb this out here, and I want it. You can almost see through the the hair that's got to come off. So it's this here. I'm just gonna. Take that out. We'll be matching. We might need to pay you down and walk out. There we go. So let's have a look. Now the coat's laid flat at both legs. Are they even? Well done. Of course, guys, you know, we'll have to stay a little bit more longer and prepare it and tidy and... Yeah, there we go. So that's that, that's... So... so you have a little bit of chest, yeah, and then you have two legs in the front. Lift the leg up, uh, so it should be up on the toes. That's right. And that, oh, oh yeah, we'll go yeah. maybe a little bit over here. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, right. Right, back, back leg. leg. Well, it's the same principle as the front, really, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, the same thing. It's just you have more hot care, which you can use spray to set, can't you? Set yeah. Base, if, if you've got a really nice dog and you want it to look really fancy. Yeah. We can do that after. We're yeah. going to have a lunch Perfect. break after this, yeah. right? So, back leg. I, they are uh, low set. No. Back, uh, they have a, a low lying hot. Well, they no, they don't. They have they a set, have a, high set lock. So, they have a high hop. So, a high hop, yeah. So, not low lock. But low, uh, low set. So, have a high set uh, hop, yeah. So, it should be up, not so, down. Like a. Like a Kerry or like a, Kerry's, yeah, Kerry's have a low line. Hold. Or Spaniels also have a low line. They have yes. low also. I think the Schnauz is the only one. Oh, and the American Cockers also, they have the bevels up. So they have the set, the hop is set up, you know? Because the bevels, no? Maybe, I'm not a Spaniel person, so I can't find that really. Well, you can look at the bloody Breed American stand. Cockers. They don't have this, uh, the, the, uh, the bevel up. What is wrong with her? Seriously. Right, right guys, so, schnauzer feet, back leg, yeah? I will do the sick the same, right. uh, I will do, how I'll do with the... He doesn't, he would keep going and not eat. Yeah, I, to be fair, I would be one of those people. I don't have breakfast, I have to eat. He, he, he hates it when I get hungry because I'm like, because yeah, I'm not Yeah, she's a bloody annoying, I didn't have food, I, who cares? We are at work, we have, we don't eat, groomers they don't eat. Well, I do. That's why I'm fat. <laughs> I'm terrible for not eating at work, and then I get home and this is angry. Yeah. And my husband says, well, why didn't you eat? I'm like, I didn't have time. Yeah. <laughs> he says it's rubbish. I, sh I should make time. You should make time. I make time. There you go. You should wear it. Right, so I got quite much. tight to the, um, uh, where's, what's called this? Pad, no? Pad, yeah. Right, so the last part, I lift the hair quite high. From there, brush down. And from where I set up my, my lowest point, I go and I'm doing my, my bridge. Just this time, I will expose the nails. Only because this is a schnauzer. Yeah, because this is a schnauzer. Okay. So if you look, guys, actually, I lift. You always take it to the first knuckle or something. Yes, you? you see, I lift it like quite high. Yeah. It would be lovely if you bloody do what I'm doing. So yeah, be every easier. time I touch the phone, something goes wrong. Look at this. Yeah, look. So what you, they can see, what you can see there, they can, right? So I go right, high. This dog unfortunately doesn't have the nicest feet. 
and all the same on inside of the leg. So I'm lifting higher than normal with the cocker pull. Just do the inside of that back leg again for me, Krusty, because we was moving. So I always start from the back where I set up my, my line. So I always set up my line. I love the fact you've got your name inscribed on those scissors. Yeah, all my scissors have my name on it. I don't know, can you see it? Mm, I've got a pair of those with my name on. I have all my, all my trimmers, all my blades, everything. Even my clippers, look, they have my name. What? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Such a... Even my trimmers have my name on it. Look here. Can you see it? See? I have everything on my name. Batches. What's your name? Costin Famous. Costin. Right, so uh, once I do this, like I said, they have a set up high hook. So I lift the hair. I can use some scissor spray. And then what I do, lift up. And I will take a straight scissor. Yeah, so this is my high point and this is my low point. So I'll go straight down. Balanta has asked a question, but I don't know what she's what language she's written it in. Isaac, sorry. Oh, she said. So right, I'm using this is an onyx, a straight onyx, and this is the Magnum. Uh, magnum artero curve magnum. They're really bendy. Right, thank you. Sorry. Right. So if you can come here, because it's easier, so they can see the shape. It's like running your fingers. Right. So yeah, and then I lift inside and outside. So from the highest point that's here, I go round. It's exactly how we do a carry. With a carry blue. With a carry blue. What is? I can't see what you're doing. I don't know. I'm okay. trying to lift the hair. So from here, it's the lowest, the highest point, and then I go inside. Well, yeah, but the carry's hot. It's, it's low. Yeah, it's low. Further, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the same I will do inside here. <laughs> and also here, it's a straight line. Sorry, I hope you can see, guys. And then inside again, inside again. And also from the hook in a straight line here, I want a full padded fit. So I will take straight everything that's front out. It's difficult because this dog's coat is very fine. Yeah. The shorter it's on, on the top bottom, the, the longer looks on the top. So you're making the dog appear that it's on its toes. Exactly. It's up on the toes. And what I do, then I lift my leg in a half, brush down everything. And then I have a straight line here and then follow the shape into the tuck up. But I don't have a lot of hair, so I just follow the shape. I like that trick. I don't do that. Mm. It's a good trick. Actually, I saw a video, um, I can't remember which, which channel it was now, but of, of someone doing a Bichon and the, the, the Bichon had had puppies yeah. and the puppies had bitten and created holes. And she said, where you're doing the round face, if there's a hole, she said, imagine you're cutting, that, that there's hair there, yeah. Yeah. because otherwise you're cutting into it constantly. Exactly what I was saying to my girls, imagine, it, just pretend that the hair is there. Yeah, yeah exactly, and then the hair is there. Right, so you want a set high hook, yeah? If uh, it was not a pet, normally the hook should be right here, actually. But that's why, you know, when, when people, they stop, when they clip this, because, you know, the schnauzer also, even his hand shipping, they still clip the back of the hand. So normally the hook will go, this will be like, the hook yeah. will be right here, up so, here. Oh, so you'd well, clip further down. Yeah. In from about here, wouldn't they? Yes, exactly. So there will be a hook right like this, basically. Oh, so it'd be fuller. Up yes. There. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. This is how it is. But it's a pet, so normally I just clean this. Because I know they don't. 
this is this. And you see also from here, from up, go down, and I go into the leg. And this is it, a set high hook. Uh, sorry, uh, Speranta Maria. Yes, Speranta Maria has said something, but I don't know what she said. So is this sort of like? Oh, he likes. She likes the scissors. Okay. She has them also. Act. <laughs> right. So this is actually the body of a schnauzer. Yeah, a pet schnauzer. Again, like I said, I had to clip inside here so I can show you the difference between a a, a bridge and uh, elastic band, this is how I call it now. So I prefer to have a little bit more hair here. Yeah. I will let now Cheryl to do her other half. Oh, also, I will, take, I will take a fine scissor, this is how I call it, a fine scissor, and I will take quickly the corners that I use with the clippers. And I find the shortest. You can use a little bit of scissor spray. To bring out all of those. Just to bring words. out all of the yes. Come on. Can you hold the one second? Good girl. See? Because this is what is annoying when the dog leaves and you can see when he leaves and he what he takes like oh god that like that hair sticks over there. So that's like products guys, products are really good. They're invented in, invented to help us. And then we'll go to the head. Yeah, so is it, what do you do with your back leg? Can we go on the left side? Well, pretty much the same as yours, to be fair. Pretty much the same that I do. Yeah. So, I'm going to clear around my foot, both sides. This time I am going to take out a line from the back because we want to lift the foot. So that the difference is because you're going up at an angle with that yeah. hock, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yep. Bailey, be quiet. Now, you? because this dog has got a fine coat and it, it all comes forward, if you have a dog with a thick coat, you can lift it outwards. This dog's got a very, very fine coat. But you can use a scissor spray if you want. I'm going to. Thank you. Bitch. I have to say, actually, it's Costin's uh, spray that I like the smell of earlier. I oh, told you! Sorry! I told you! you I, I, there are really? products that have very nice smells, guys. Yeah, they do, they, they do. They smell really, really nice. nice. Really, Artelo has more than 100 years in making products and tools. And you would know because you're it's 100, 100 years old. Was the, the company was built in uh, 1909. You would know because you're over 100. Yeah. Oh, Cheryl is 200. Yeah, I know, me. but you're 100. But you are, both of you are like ancient. <laughs> <laughs> stop <laughs> looking at yourself in the mirror. Yeah, <laughs> look at him, look at him, he can't yeah, stop. Yeah. So vain. Oh. You're who Carly Simon was singing about. Again, we're going to expose those two toenails. I'm not very good at talking and um, working. That's all right, Costi was providing the entertainment yeah, just then. It's okay, Kushka. I like to talk and I like to show and I like to help people and explain them how I was, but in my way, you know, because sometimes I, uh, people they explain to me and I don't understand. Yeah, this is the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Because I think I am a little bit autistic, I think. <laughs> I promise you, I, I have to, I actually have to... Do things several times. Several, like then. four, five, six, seven times. I, I have to go to different groomers to actually understand. And in the end, I do understand, but it takes me years to I understand. don't think that's autistic. I think that's just human nature. I, I, most yeah, of but, us... You know, no, because you know some people, they learn so quickly. My uncle yeah. works so quickly, everything. Yeah, but that's just different people. I, I teach agility, and some people get it just like that. I don't. Other people, they have Are to be taught. Are you filming what she does? I or? am, actually. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I know, but I think I have... I'm going to level this up with Costa's leg inside, now straight down. You know, you don't have signal here, so it's better if Cheryl can come Oh, here. yeah, come here. Oh God, <laughs> I don't want to lose this. everyone. Yeah, it is. Sorry. Is this my leg? No, it's mine. Oh, it's this is so messy. <laughs> 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 Look at my lovely chair. I don't like it. It's red. I don't like I it. I like the colour of it, but I don't like the... It's not very comfortable. I feel like it's pushing me off the whole time. Push your brain off. 
Yeah, your brain. That's where your brain you know is. You work with those We're going to bring this hot out. Just I do. Because he's, I'm basically just leveling up with what he's done. It makes you look like you've got a baboon's bottom. Oh, yeah. And then at the end, you can have a look. What are you saying? He's not saying anything. He's being crude. Mm. I like when I sit on the chair and I can see my bum. Look at him, guys. It's just girls. So it's it's all boys. professional. I said guys, not boys. I know. But this is girls. <sighs> You know you have a lot of hair here, I'm just saying. Costing? Seriously? <laughs> you had lots of yes. hair, but no, neither of us pointed it out <laughs> for you, did we? It's your, he knows that my leg's going to be better than his. Too much long tail. That's what it is. Is that Costy? He's got too, are you talking about his libido? Or are you talking about the dog? <laughs> cool. Uh, Speranta Maria again. This way. Too, oh, too much. Too much long tail. What yeah. do you mean? Uh, like they they prefer. To to oh, oh, I actually, uh, well, with the schnauzer, I do prefer short tail and dot ears. They no. More, I, let me finish. Uh, they give it more that killing face. Yes. yes. With, the, with the ears, no, I didn't finish call. With the ears like this and there, makes it more... Cuddly. Yeah. You know? it's, so that's the only thing I yeah. like. Speranta Maria, it's actually illegal in England to dock the tail and to crop the ears. Yeah. Because it's seen as, more. unless it's for a purpose, like a working dog, where you're going to save them causing damage. But it's sort of frowned upon over here because of, um, uh, well, because it's, it's for aesthetic, it's not for a purpose. In America, you can still dot, no? Yeah, in America you can. But I like them in the dots because they give it, I give, Really? They dock them? You can dock in Ireland. Yeah. Really? Crikey. I think you might have to prove that your dog is a work from a farm, like a working farm. Yeah, my boy's got his tail. He's a Spaniel, working Spaniel. Um, his is docked, but I don't like it. I wouldn't have had it done if I'd had the choice. There's certain dogs I like docked. Mm. They used to dock Kerry's. I'm just, I just don't like it. Oh, sorry, she's, she said, N I can't, I won't even try and say that. Are you doing what she, uh, 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 no, I don't know what she, uh, 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 illegal. So it's not a massive stick. So I said in English it's illegal to cut the ear. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, this skirt line isn't a massive steep skirt line. It is literally... It's just nice, gently my Yeah, there. just... And, and how do you sort of create the the um, join? Well, this dog didn't have... You'll see from the other side, actually. I should have got you to see first. But it doesn't have a great deal of length here. Mm. So, like we said, last rib, middle of the loin is where you start that... Tuck up. Yeah. To come round. So there's... But how do, you, how, how do you angle the scissors round there? Um, <laughs> right, so you can do... I use the middle of my scissors... The middle, so you just go in it, and I just go in and across. Oh, you can use a curve. Motion. You can use a curve. You can actually. use a curve. Okay, a curve. So what you can, you can do like this. You but see? not everybody has curves. So like a V. Okay. You see, like a V. Yeah. I so use I this, I'm, this, I'm, sec this section of my scissor, and just up and round. I hope I'm asking the right questions. I'm just trying to think of what I struggle with and yeah, yeah, yeah. what it's, other it's people nice might. Yeah. Mm. Right. Finished. Even your leg is not as. Perfect as mine, but anyway. Oh my goodness. Anyway. Yeah, you've just chopped half of my hair off. I mean, he does, he will. You didn't lift here enough. He sabotages it for you. Could you get off? <laughs> Honestly. No, look, you've taken all my hot hair out. Yeah, Thank because you. you didn't take enough. Look how mine looks nice. Indeed. And you have here. No, that's that's not holding it, it's too fine. Try this one then. It's better. It's a little way better than that one. <laughs> Don't be so rude. There's somebody's product you're dissing. I'm joking. It's a really good product, like actually. I'm just so you annoy her. You're annoying everyone. Okay, so yeah, right done. I'm going to bring this foot in a little to give me more of a lift at the hop. Mm. At the back of the foot. Can you get your scissors off of my leg? It is terrible. He's really bad at oh, that. Guys, I am a control freak. I am you really, are. I am. You really are. I know. What can I do? I like perfection. 
I have to say, I do love this. I really want that as a perfume, okay, that spray. Okay, finished. My side is done. I'm going to have to balls my front leg up after this so that it matches costumes. Right, this is the face because people, they may want to have supper and lunch and okay. lunch. Right. 20 past two. I know. Right, face, schnauzer face. You should be a square face, natural eyebrows and natural beard, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, she doesn't have actually, you know you have dogs that have that massive beard, really, really big. Basically, what you do, you lift the hair, if she doesn't have, I will get do that with her also. So you find a thin scissor. Don't cut into her beard. So if the dog has... Don't do it to her. She's Just got such a pretty face. Shush. Just show people, don't actually do no, it. No, because she has also. So you know when you have, when you look from the, from the, from the cheeks, it should be a straight line, yeah? So if the, they have too much beard, what you do, you take the beard, the top of the beard, and you take your thin scissor, but you don't cut completely. You see, you just do some top. And then, pull it down, and then take the thickness. But always with the way the coat grows yes, down. Yes, yes. Never um, like river, this, yeah. because you'll create layers. Exactly. So, but you see, I barely touch actually. I just take a little yes, bit from, just from, the, from, from the thickness. And then, we'll set up the beard much nice and straighter, yeah? 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 Yes. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Can you comb the other side so we can just see how it how it compares? Right. Can you see? It's, it's much... quite a big difference, yeah. Yeah, it does. It lays much nicer. It lays much nicer, I yeah? just worry about the regrowth, that's all. Yeah, but because you've cut it in the way that the coat grows, grows you won't get the, the jagged hair going all over the place. And it's, it's not, I cut the thickness. Way. I don't cut it completely through, uh, through the... Uh, uh, root. root, yeah, so I cut the thickness. Right, so when I do, I do actually have a little bit of hairspray, or you can use actually a scissor spray, yeah, when you do the eyebrow, yeah. They have long split eyebrows, yeah, they are not full like a, like a Kerry or like a, a Welsh, a Witten area. Do you use thinners to do the bit between the eyebrows that you yes, haven't managed I to get? Thinners, I yes, I use thinners, yes. So I will take my thin scissors. Right, so you can go like this up. And then you can go down. Feel sorry for me, people under his armpit. Mm -hmm. I have a very beautiful armpit. It's shaved and smells beautiful, not like yours. Mm. Yeah, well, I'm closer right. to it. I just, I dispute that. Right. So I lift the eyebrows. Hello, baby. And I take every nice front of the eye. But you know, some schnauzer, they have really, really fine be, uh, eyebrow and be, and they never set properly, yeah? Mm -hmm. So I also go a little bit in front of the eye, on the both sides. And I take my fine scissor. Oh, this one. Oh, no. Sorry. I have two of the same, but one is in. Like How do you know the difference? What's the difference? One is between longer them? and one is shorter. Okay, and what's and the difference? one has my name and one has, doesn't have my name. This but time. how do you know which one's fine? Well, both are fine. It's just uh, a different uh, length. length. But so it's... if you were to compare that to another straight scissor that wasn't fine... Because you can see the... I think the... The, 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 the blade, you see? It's, it's much thinner, thicker. Thinner, is it's, it? This is my thinner, yeah, than this. So the finer one is thinner? Yes. Always. I think also Look. the longer the scissor... The finer it is, is it? Yeah, yeah. so these are Utsumis. These are really expensive, really, really expensive. These are Chris Christians. These are the Artera, but these are huge. These mm. what, these Nine inch, is nine, it? Yeah, nine inch, they are huge. I like a nine inch. But if I want to <laughs> get it somewhere fine, <laughs> I would go for something with a nice, fine tip. Right, let's go back to... Yeah, sorry, I just thought it's worth asking, because oh. you keep mentioning about them being fine. fine. I right. think he means in length, as in... They're just the easiest to, to do fine work. I always cut the eyelashes. So that, I always say, longer, shorter hair holds longer hair, yeah? Creates a scaffold. Exactly. So, so by cutting the eyelashes, I create the, the eyes much more. I, so when I, I use some scissor spray, so I always uh, put my, some people they use a curve. 
So. And then they go from the corner of the eye to the corner of the nose, they do a straight line. What I like to do, I, I put in half. So first and first, I will do the corner of the eye. So you're blending it into the cheek. No, I'm just cutting the corner oh, of the eye. Oh, right. So I can see everything. Sorry. Yeah, so I can see everything. And then, put my beard in front. Take my beard. And then, from the corner of the eye to the corner of the nose, a straight line. You can actually, if you want, you can use a, a curve. If you want to, to go shorter on the eyebrows. Well, if you want to go shorter, you go more... You would come over more to the corner. Yeah, more to the corner, way. more in the middle of the, yeah. of the nose, you know? So just that's how you can determine your depth. Your length, sorry. Straight down. So I need a first corner and then a straight line. I have another question. Yeah. I can't read. Sunt cățeii cu părul din barbă dus în interior spre gât. Sunt. Sunt cățeii cu părul din barbă. No, n-am înțeles. Îmi pare rău. I didn't understand. I don't understand. Sorry. Sorry, Maya, I don't understand what you mean. Right. You can actually use a little bit of the scissors, uh, 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 hairspray, hairspray on, your face, on your hand and you apply evenly. And then I like to be honest, I like to use this, this one. I think we've, we've frozen okay. there. And you can see the bit that thing. you can take a curl scissor if you want to create a little bit of like that roundness. Mm -hmm. Be careful, don't steal my curl. My scissors. Mine. This is mine, bitch. No, I don't want those. Costi's normally the one stealing yeah, people's scissors. No, I don't like that. I'm wearing this one. Make sure you've got all your bits before you oh, go. Oh, I will. I left my arteros here before, didn't I? I remember. No, I stole them. You couldn't use them. Oh, yeah, he stole, stole them from them. myself. And then a straight line here. And he says, oh, it's all right, we won't use them. Yeah. Mm. And this is the eyebrow, guys. So using the curve. Yeah. Straight curve, you can use it, actually, and it's very nice. Yeah, you can use a zebra, only zebra. Right, so then, like I said, the longest point of the beard shoe actually should be right. And so I like also the double stand when I do the face. You oh, know? Should I come the other side of you? That's fine. Okay. So you see, I cut the longest point by mistake, and see, the longest point should be under the eye, right here, yeah? And then from there, you should create like a short line, and this will push the hair to stay nice in the... Uh, uh, it's hard to explain because I don't have mm. that hair. But also, you see, my, my scissor is go out, yeah? So when I look at the dog, from the front, I don't want nothing to stick out, like this little... I think that's why I made a mistake when I cut the beard. It's like you can see in the dog, sometimes it moves. So You're you see, blaming the dog now. When I look from the front, I should see a straight line. Yeah, nothing sticks out mm -hmm. on the cheeks. And you see, I didn't touch the beard at all. Mm -hmm. So if you were to touch the beard, would you comb it back? So if I tighten the beard and I want to make a shorter beard, I'll brush everything down like this. Mm. Close the mouth. And then how long I want to cut it, how short I, I'll cut it like this. Okay. Yeah. And then put it down. And then we'll be like in a V shape anyway. And it just tidy under the chin. Okay. I have seen it done where, they, where the, hair, the beard is combed back and then you cut around here, the back of the beard. Yeah. Do you want to do the other, how you do your schnauzers? Right, so now we go how Cheryl will do her schnauzers. Cheryl. Cheryl. Again, did you click the other eyelashes on this of you? No. So I'm going to remove this dog's eyelashes. If this was a hand strip, then I believe that they strip them out. <gasps> Really? Yeah, I strip my eyebrush, eyelashes on my uh, 
on my uh, fox terriers. How yeah. do they cope with that? Because they do it as a puppy, they, they're used to it. They just strip out. Yeah, they strip so But does it, it doesn't hurt? No, I don't believe it does. I probably won't get a nice eyebrow now, like this. So I like to fold my ear back because obviously you've got to come in at an angle, brush everything outwards. I can't come too far around there. Oh, uh, the light was. Oh. What's the matter? Was interrupted in our sign. So you're just blending the beard into the cheek yep. there. Yep, yep, yep. Comb it all out towards me. And I'm going to go in. See that bit there, we don't need that. So now, of course, this is um, narrower there, so I know now that I need to take a little bit more off of here mm. to bring it in line with his one. Okay. Shh! The language interrupts, the brother has been paused. I think you should move here. Uh, Cheryl, you need to come, yeah, because the internet is shit. Yeah. So it doesn't say it's paused on here. Uh, here, yeah, but when you look from, from home, it says interrupt. Oh, I look so at the annoying, H-bar. the internet. Oh, okay. Yeah, Jimmy Boyle as well. So that's that. Yeah, I've done mine. Would you say that they are the same? Look in the camera. I can't see. This one. Yeah, they are the same actually. Yeah. And again, you comb it. I like to show the. I like to show the the oh. nose. Mm -hmm. You know, some people they leave it like this, but I like to show the nose when I comb it. And you thinned your beard out, didn't you? Yeah, I did thin up a little bit. So we're just going to take that down there and then as you say, if you do get that regrowth, you're not really going to see it because you're going to have the heaviness of exactly. this part of the beard exactly. to weigh it down Exactly. so it won't stick out. And then any little hairs that you've got, just thin them out. Good boy. Never touch this part of the hair under the eye. Some people scoop that out. No, because then you will create the dog to look uh, like sick. A, yeah, we call it op, op, like an octopus. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It, it will make the dog to look really sick, and we don't want that. There we go. I think. Did you trim him here? A little bit, yes. Okay. So I'm just going to take my thinner. <laughs> oh, low it. battery. Low battery. Where's the charger? Okay, and now, even, Stephen. How can you see it? I don't know how to use uh, to use the meeting, that meeting, what's called, that zoom. zoom on here, because apparently you have better quality. But, but even uh, that you need good Wi-Fi. I have good Wi-Fi, it's, it's just a bloody... Right, I'm so guys, in my bag. <laughs> so this is a nice schnauzer, Petrim, pretty, you can see the eyes. Yeah, nice tight ears, a nice chest, um, back hook. Uh, you can see the shape between uh, uh, muscle, skirt, and muscle. Yeah, uh, eat this, use this. Oh, no. Yeah, got one here. Yeah, yeah. Spinning. We're, we've got different faces. You see, like, we don't interrupt. No, it's fine. Yeah, but it's not saying it on here. I know, it's really stupid. Right. Look, your face is slightly 
sticky out here. Perfect. There we go. Voila. Voila. On the other side. Good girl. Well, look at how much nicer that side looks to the other Such one. Such a prettier side. I think my side looks much better anyway. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, so Lydia is saying Facebook works well with Apple products, but for lives has a lot of glitches, even if the internet is good. Zoom can record the meeting. Yeah. I need to, like, maybe after the break, I will, uh, I will uh, go and see how to, because I don't know how to put the Zoom on the group. Uh, I know uh, Stacy, she used to that at the already steady group at uh, that competition. But yeah, I will, I will, I will go on a break anyway now. And while I come back, I'll try to see if I can do the meeting, the, the Zoom meeting, yeah? So see you in, what, 10, 15 minutes? No, we need That's to eat lunch. lunch. Yeah, how long do you need to have like lunch? Just five minutes. She's not an animal like you. God. We have to take the doctor out for a week. We'll yeah, we'll be back at three. Uh, what, three o'clock? Yes. Right. So I will see you guys at three o'clock, yeah? See you later. Bye.